Hey guys, it's Michaela De Prince, and I'm here to just try to make your day a little bit better by giving you a few stretches uh, to help you during this time, this uh, crazy situation that we're in. I know all of us are probably stuck inside, either watching Netflix or in a Zoom meeting that you definitely don't want to be in, uh, which of course will cause problems with your neck, your upper back and lower back. So I'm here just giving you a few stretches. And of course, just so you know, I'm a ballerina. So don't worry if you're not as flexible as I am. Okay, so one of my favorite stretches to do is to just have your feet apart like this, just below your shoulders and just trying to make sure you just try to be as calm as possible. We're gonna go all the way to the floor as much as possible if you can. So we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to breathe in as if you're going all the way up to the sky and then start from the top of your head going all the way down to the floor. Articulating through every part of your spine as much as possible. Hold that there. Again, I am ballerina, so yes, I'm quite flexible. Um, and if you're not always, if your head isn't touching the floor, that's totally fine. Don't worry about it. Just try to enjoy the stretch as much as possible. And back up. I would say maybe do that three to five times if you want, um, focusing on your breathing and just trying to be as relaxed as possible. Another one of my favorites, um, actually my boyfriend really loves this. Uh, he did leg day the other day and this is a great stretch for him because he gets very sore. So we'll go onto the ground and we'll just put our feet together. If you, again, ballerina, uh, my knees will touch the ground, but if yours don't, that's also totally fine. Just try to put your feet together and have your arms in lock like this and breathe in, look up and then all the way down as much as possible. Stay there for a few seconds. Enjoy the stretch if you can. And then back up. And I would do that three to five times, depending on how much you need it. But this is great for the neck, for the upper back, and for the lower back. It's one of my favorite stretches. Another one of my favorite stretches is the cat position. Uh, this is great, especially because I'm dancing at home and jumping on not a great floor so it puts a lot of pressure on my lower back so this is great for me and i hope it's also great for you guys so what we're going to do is we'll be on all fours just have don't have your legs up uh, far away too don't have your legs too wide um just have them again like across from your hand which is right your hands will be below your shoulders sorry about that and what we'll do we'll just start with curve and back just a little bit and then back up, breathe out, flex your feet, and arch. And then back up, curve, and back just a little bit. This is, this is amazing for the lower back. Back up, and arch. You can do that five to 10 times, or however many times you want. But for me, I could do this all day. Feels so good and arch yeah that's one of my favorites definitely for sure and yeah um i hope this has been helpful um just so you know i know you guys are all doing the best that you possibly can if you're stuck in bed watching netflix or exercising whatever you're doing just do it exactly how you need to do it um, don't pressure yourself to do too much you know just try to focus mentally on what you need and not what the internet is always showing you and again be proud of yourself of what you're doing and yeah okay see you guys devastating and sad news coming in another ballerina dancer that is Michaela uh, Michaela the Prince who performed with Beyonce and was seen by so many as a trailblazer according to reports we're having they say that she passed on at the age of 29. a spokesperson announced her death on her personal ig and in a statement her family said she was unforgettable inspiration to everyone who knew her or had her story the cause of death has not been given yet but they are saying that the prince made a remarkable journey from suffering as an orphan in war torn sierra a Sierra Leone to numerous accolades in the world of international dance. Her family said her death had been sudden, adding Kayela touched so many lives across the world and 
you know her sister um, that is Maya the prince also described her and described the situation as being in shock deep sadness as her beautiful sister is no longer here tributes have been pouring in you know including from um, other belly uh, you know other belly ballerine uh, singers I mean dancers are from the community saying that despite being told the world that she wasn't ready uh, for black ballerinas or that black ballerinas weren't worth investing in she remained determined focused and began making big strides um you know she was born in kenema, kenema that is in syria sierra leone that was in 1995 and she was sent on an orphanage at the age of three years you know after her parents died during that uh, civil war you know she was spoken in the past i mean she spoke a lot in the past about what she saw during that very devastating times during um her early years and um you know she was discovered with the legal a condition with where patches of the skin lose pigmentation and uh, you know her guardian who actually raised her took her to a dance school at a very early age having gained interest in the in the in the uh, craft and then her adoptive mother became so close to her you know um helping her to um adapt to those dances where she even became a very huge and legendary dancer in this morning time we are sending our deepest condolences and messages of sympathies to such a very young lady who passed on and we are praying for the family friends and everyone who was really very close to um the prince rest in power the queen the prince